Welcome, my name is Kim and today we're doing a relaxing and calming yin yoga class. Let's begin in swan pose, also called pigeon pose. You might want to have your blocks within reach. From hands and knees, bring your right knee behind your right wrist. wrist. The right foot should stay more close to the hips here, so not parallel to the mat. Extend your left leg back behind you and make sure your hips are leveled so you're not rolling on just one side. Stay upright here if this is enough of a stretch for you, with the hands pressing into the floor for support, or fold on over. A block can go under the chest or the forehead to support your upper body. When I'm feeling overly stressed or anxious and my thoughts are running rampant, what I always like to do is em to empathize the exhale. So for example, inhale for a count of three and exhaling for a count of five. Trying to make the exhale a bit longer than the inhale. This has a calming effect on the nervous system. And every time you exhale, try to imagine all tension melting away from you. Everything that's going on right now can wait. All the mental clutter and things running around in your mind. Let it go with each exhalation. Push and make your way back up very slowly. Remove the block if you had it there. And before we make our way to the second side, just stretch out your right leg, making any kind of movements that feel good for your hip. Get the blood flowing again. And then setting ourselves up for the other side. Left knee makes its way behind the left wrist. Stretching your right leg back and squaring your hip so you're not rolling on one hip. And then staying upright here. Or you can fold down again. Maybe prop yourself up with a bolster or one or two blocks. Whatever works for you. Let gravity do the work and relax.
Let's lift back up again, use your arm strength to press yourself back up and then again do a few hip circles or stretch the leg back. Next we're going to come into a wide leg forward fold. So opening your legs out as wide as is comfortable for you. Your legs don't need to be as wide apart as mine. And you can always sit up on a block if that works better for you. However, if this doesn't work for you at all, just come into a butterfly forward fold. Soles of the feet come together to touch and folding from here. Just choose whichever variation would benefit your body and your mind the most today. Wherever you're at right now is totally fine. And then hinge forward to lower down when you found your position. You can either let gravity do the work and let your head hang heavy. Or you can support your head, neck and chest with one or two blocks or maybe even a bolster. And then when you found your edge, relax your legs. Relax your arms and close your eyes. Everything very heavy and deeply relaxed. Notice if you tense up in your face, soften your jaw and even the muscles around your eyes and eyebrows. Shoulders relax and glide down. If your mind begins to wander, always come back to the breath and maybe the breathing pattern from the first pose, inhaling for a count of three and exhaling for a count of five. Thank you. 
Be very mindful as you come out, walk the palms in slowly to lift back up. Head is the last thing to come back up. If you had the legs straight, maybe use your hands to bend them again. And then come to take a short seat, kneeling or an easy pose. Placing your hands on your thighs. And notice how you feel right now and where you feel it. Fully allowing your feelings to be. Making our way into a wide leg child's pose. Knees can go as wide as you'd like them to go. Press the hips back towards your heels and then folding forward. Arms can go out in front of you, elbows bent in a diamond shape, or stacking the palms to rest your forehead on top of them. Relax your chest, your belly, your whole upper body melts into the ground. Here in this pose, I always like to visualize all the worries and thoughts that caused me distress, to just set him off to the side, like taking off a heavy backpack at the end of the day. Push into your arms and begin to lift back up, coming to a seated position to close this practice, kneeling or cross-legged, however is most comfortable for you. Close your eyes once more, palms on the thighs and take a couple of deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. 
maybe noticing a feeling of calm deep within you. May there be lots of light and love in the rest of your day. From my heart to yours, Namaste. Thank you for doing this short yin yoga class with me. I hope you feel relaxed and calm. If you liked it, please leave me a comment down below to share your experience. If you're new, please hit the subscribe button and share this video with anyone who could use a little bit more yin in their lives. Thank you again and practice again with you soon.